Okay, friends, um, this may be the story of the haunted webcam. I just finished recording two video journals for you. Uh, and the webcam microphone level reset itself back up to high. Now, it wasn't maxed out this time, but it was at about 90 or 95 percent, which is ridiculous, as anyone who works with those things knows. So I just was converting it, and I realized what it had done. So this is a really quick apology video. I have no idea. I looked through the settings. I don't see anything that applies any kind of an automatic function to the mic volume. I don't know why it's doing that, but I'll keep a closer watch on it, and I'll have to do some kind of filtering on these. Uh, they're not as bad as the others, maybe, but I do apologize. Good day. Hi, friends. Figured I'd try out one of my video toys again. I have every other program but Explorer shut down. And I don't mean Internet Explorer, I mean Windows Explorer, as in File Manager. So let's see how this works. I have a journal that's kind of getting old. It's from 419. The Mayan day was 5 Jaguar. So I figured I would share it with you. And uh, I'm getting them kind of stacked up here. Haven't been recording lately. So here goes. Now remember, this is back when things were pretty heavy. So let's see what I had to say then. Okay, I give up. No sense even trying to sleep tonight. Even though I actually got up at a reasonable hour, it's now 4 a.m. and I'm so wide awake I don't know what to do with myself. So let's find out. I'll start here by admitting I've got a brain. <laughs> yeah, it's not something I like to admit in general, being such a proponent of living from heart. All the same, I've chosen of late to be somewhat mind-centric. Yep, time to fess up. I just got fed up with the endless seeming depression, so I've been doing a few things to quote-unquote fix that. Yeah, I know, I know, it's all nonsense. The whole depression thing itself, like everything else, is just a story I'm telling myself. One I've chosen to believe for whatever reason, one not currently accessible to the conscious mind. Okay, be that as it may, it got old. I was a very good girl for a, a long time. Gosh, it's been cycling through my awareness for at least a month now. There have already been some good things come of it too, but I guess that wasn't enough. So, in addition to the lovely way I treat myself, I'm now taking St. John's Wort. We'll let you know in a few weeks how that's working out. I guess it wasn't fast enough, and it's not meant to be, so I decided to cheat. Most of you have probably heard of Robert Monroe, that other dimensional adventurer who brought us Hemisync the uh, binaural beat audio meditation software. Well, his present day counterpart uh, is John Dupuy, and I forget the other guy's name, who with the group at I Awake have taken the very latest in technology and frankly outdone Mr. Monroe. Their flagship product is the Profound Meditation Program which for about a hundred USD does pretty much everything and then some that Hemisync does without all those endless graduated levels uh, uh, and the investment they represent for Hemisync. It's pretty neat. For those who don't know what this is about, it's using sound technology to uh, alter your brainwave state to greatly enhance entering higher consciousness states. Now, they call it meditation, but some of the tracks can be played while you're working or going to sleep. 
Most of them, though, are best taken advantage of with headphones and quiet time. I'm no formal meditator. Never have been, at least in this life. Every time I would sit down to meditate, weird things would happen, so I just left it alone. Nor do I think all that much of technology, especially when it comes to consciousness. So one may ask, why would I use such a thing? <laughs> Heck, I don't know. For one thing, aside from the flagship meditation program, which is two programs, each one hour long, they have a lot of single-use tracks that are fun. One helps you get out of stress and relax, or even sleep. Another is called Digital Euphoria. You can figure out what that one is for, just to feel good. Now, when one is depressed, such a file might be a bit tempting, huh? Especially when a fairly long demo is available free on YouTube for your download and enjoyment. I've only lightly used such things before. I knew about Hemisync, but uh, I, I didn't get into it. And, well, I'm doing so again now. Hey, maybe it'll help. I could use some relief. I've had it with God. Heck, what is God anyway, huh? Obviously not someone who answers prayers for relief or assistance here in 3D. Yeah, it's like we're in the timeout corner or something, you know? So I'm angry at God just now. Now, I know that will scandalize some, but that's okay since it's me and not you doing it. And you know, God or Source, by whatever name, is not so small and mean-spirited as to mind when we get upset with him, her, it, whatever. Really, Source is so far removed from our little play avatars here on 3D Earth that she just isn't concerned. Nor are we even just one or two dimensions up. Now, at least she knows this is all for play, even if we keep forgetting that fact. Anyway, so in addition to the herb and audio candy, I treated myself to one other thing about which I'm pretty excited. I spent money I didn't really have. If I were being practical, which is rare these days, and I bought a biophoton or light therapy unit. It's really neat, the one that Melon Thomas brought back from the light after his NDE. It's one of, or maybe, his first invention. I don't know. He's quite the inventor. I wish he would just take time out and write some books. Anyway, he calls the 3D body a wet cell battery. And the Dream Spa, as he calls it, is designed to give it a recharge. Hey, I'm up for that. Light is like food anyway, and this offers frequencies of light that are particularly useful. It's got five programs built in, three of which include a brainwave entrainment like light show. It's really trippy. I just love the experience. The button is called Trance. Well, it's still too early for this one, too, to report on results. Unless you call not being able to sleep at 5 a.m. a result, which it may be. And I was careful not to use it too late in the day, either. Oh, well. Maybe when I finish, I'll use the one called Calming that's supposed to help you relax. So there, I went and told on myself, doing all these things to try to fix what seems to be wrong, the depression and just being down so long. Oh well, I'm human, you know. I'm learning too that there's just no need to try to be perfect. I really don't think it gets us any brownie points at all on the other side, not from what I've heard anyway. Darn, another journal, and not on the topic I've been hoping to have flow through. Radiance and resonance, 
Oh, well, I'm sure its time will come. It sounded so enticing a few journals ago when it introduced itself that mine was tempted to fill in with what it thought it might know on the topic. I'm glad I was watching, though, and able to catch and corral the mind. Thanks, but no thanks, mind. We'll let spirit report on such things. You stick to what you know, which is things from the outside, not the inside. So I guess I'll close. Hoping something will come through is obviously no way to make it happen. Oh well, it is what it is, and that's always fine. If we're in now, it's only when we get off into mind, and therefore time, that what's in now can somehow seem second best or not good enough. That part is a lie guaranteed, but who and how many of us are able to see it at the time? Not so many, not yet. Soon, my friends, oh, so very soon, I pray, but at least soon, this much I know, relief is on its way. Time's acceleration is being ratcheted up to almost ridiculous heights. I just lost another day recently. That makes two in the last month or so that somehow just slipped by unnoticed. I guess it's not such a surprise or a big deal for someone who doesn't use watches, clocks, or even calendars. Still, the pill container here is a central part of my life. That's how I keep track. Uh, oh dear, now the sun has lost me. It looks like the sun is sunning itself. Only whose radiance are you looking for, Mr. Sun? Thank you. Okay, so uh, the pill container is how I keep, keep track of the... Now, that's interesting. There's no reason it should be doing that, and I don't believe in coincidence. I'm going to try it for the third time. The pill container is how I keep track of the day of the week, would you believe? Hey, different strokes and all that, you know? We each carry surprising differences around that would literally shock some of our pals, if they only knew. Uh, it's one of those things, you know, where it's got four pockets a day and seven days across, and so it's four by seven, and it's how I keep track of the day of the week. I confirm it with the computer, of course. Now, we don't even notice one another very much. Have you noticed that? Heck, we don't even notice ourselves, hardly at all. And until we do that, it's no use even trying to notice others. Really, I guess you've already heard, but there are no others out there. There's not really even an out there for others to be in, but that's another matter. You're really the only one here. So until you start noticing and paying attention, loving attention to yourself, leave others alone. Why is that? Because you don't have anything to offer them. Oh, you can fake it all right, but we truly can't give to others what we haven't yet given to the self. Life just works that way. If you don't have $10, then you don't have it to give. It's really pretty basic, but we've gotten so far away from basics that we don't even register them anymore. They don't make sense to us in this phony reality we're in the midst of. So, start noticing yourself. That's what I'm doing, noticing me. I spend lots of time focused roughly in the center of my chest, right where I call heart and just self-observing. It's my new pastime, and I like it a lot. I can't tell you all the things it's done for me, but, oh dear, there goes the sun sunning himself again. 
But that's what the journals usually do, like now. And you know it's really not a pastime because it's a 24-7 thing. A pastime, you take time out to go do something. This isn't that. But anyway, I can't say I really and truly love myself just yet, but I'm getting there. Wait, I take that back. We are all perfect already. It's just this time thing that gets in the way of us experiencing that all the time, 24-7, which we could do if we just stay out of the mind. In heart, I totally adore myself. The mind has been programmed with all kinds of crap, however, that just gets in the way of heart running the show here. So paradox reigns supreme on the cusp of the new day dawning, the day of the great shift, up into light. I'm this and I'm not. I'm that and its opposite and all of this at the very same time. It makes no sense at all, but one thing is true. It's actually a lot of fun. And I'm beginning to remember that. Give yourself permission to follow your bliss and to know that enjoyment is the biggest part of why you're here. Let that be all right. Give yourself permission to enjoy. Chances are good if you're a regular human on 3D Earth that you were programmed to believe you don't deserve to enjoy yourself that it's selfish or some such malarkey, stuff and nonsense. Do take a look at this, though. If you don't, you still won't be having any fun, and you won't know why. You won't be able to see all the negative programs you have running that cut fun off at the pass. Fun tries to come and visit us, each one, every day. It really tries, but our beliefs are very much in the way. Nature loves to come out and play. It's we who don't do that. And unless we determine to watch the self and be alert to such things, we'll never know. Our body will be shoveled into the ground or go up in crematory smoke, and we will have completely forgotten how much fun it is. How much fun fun is. And that would be such a shame. So do remind yourself, say, self, don't forget, I'm here to have lots of fun. Loving you. Okay, that's all I wrote. I guess I can report it's been long enough. Um, the St. John's work did seem to help out a bit. Uh, I ran out of the bottle I was taking. And I, I haven't been taking it for a week or 10 days or so, but I think it helped. The thing is, you know, I wasn't scientific and I wasn't trying to be. I was doing too many things at once. So, and I don't know that any of them were helpful because we don't have a control here. In reality, it could have been just time to not be depressed anymore. So I don't know how I can report on these things. Oh, wait. I did speak with Ken, and I asked him directly. I said, I've been using this biophoton device. Do you notice a difference? And uh, he said that he did. But I've got to tell you, I was kind of hoping that he would speak up to me when we first got on the phone together and say, hey, I've noticed something. So it wasn't that great a difference anyway. So at this point, I don't know. I just know that I'm feeling better. A lot better. And I think it's funny that I went through a cycle where I went against my supposed beliefs, you know, trying to fix things. I'm usually just for sitting with something. So I'm not perfect, but I hope you knew that already. Good day.